Good day Philippines, hello, uh, good morning and this is Mike Paduan once again and we are back to our latest analysis for this uh, December 29 to 31st, 2022, Thursday to Saturday and this is our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000. We just returned from a um, days of uh, no uh, updates because we got sick but we are now back and giving you the very latest for this uh, Thursday until Saturday. We begin with the latest on the graph set. We have a low pressure area. This is 95W, a weak uh, LPA with less than 35% chances of becoming a tropical cyclone. And uh, at this uh, point, this LPA is currently uh, more than 100 kilometers to the east of Surigao and it's moving slowly towards the northwest. Now, uh, the, the system is encountering some strong upper level winds known as uh, wind shear and its uh, rain bands is displaced to the north, northwest of the uh, center, meaning uh, areas of the summer later, uh, Bicol provinces, will uh, experience on and off to at times continuous rainfall. And uh, together with the uh, enhanced uh, northeast monsoon, uh, winds of up to 50 or 60 kph will continue to prevail across these areas affected by the uh, trough or the extension or the uh, displaced rain bands of 95W. So uh, in the next uh, 24 hours, this LPA will eventually succumb over the islands of the Visayas and but still the trough including Mindanao uh, offshore areas of Bangsamoro will continue to have isolated rain showers and thunderstorms becoming more frequent over Bicol and eastern Visayas because of the, uh, the displaced rain bands of 95W and uh, for the next 24 hours this rain over rainfall event will ex uh, will weaken and eventually the northeast monsoon will also recede up to the north and will remain over the uh, extreme northern parts of the zone. So uh, improving weather conditions will be expected across Bicol region, Visayas, in the coming days before the uh, New Year's uh, Eve. And also it is expected to extend uh, till uh, January 1st. So expect some slightly warmer conditions across the areas that we've mentioned. Okay, so again, uh, for the next 24 hours, uh, these areas of Bicol and Eastern Visayas will be under the medium to high risk flooding and landslides. So please take all necessary precautions. Now here's the uh, fast animation from the University of Wisconsin Tropical Cyclone page. You can clearly see here the uh, uh, displaced rain bands of LPA 95W to the eastern uh, coastal waters of Bicol region. And if we take a look at the zoom in satellite animation, this is the night vision image as of uh, 11 uh, up to 12 midnight of uh, Thursday or today. Here is the uh, rain bands of 95W still affecting Bigel region. Some on and off rainfall are being felt across uh, uh, Bigel region. Particularly also here, especially here in Naga City, we have uh, rainfall of about uh, 5 to 10 millimeters per hour. That's moderate to heavy. So we expect this uh, uh, on and off rainfall to persist overnight. By tomorrow, noontime or afternoon, we could see some improvement of the weather based on the latest uh, Model 1 from the European ECMWF. Here's the uh, forecast from uh, windy.com. This is from the European model. For the next three days, we're going to uh, extend the forecast until New Year's Eve and January 1st, 2023. So today, we still have the combined uh, effects of the... Uh, uh, shear line, okay. To combine today, we still have the combined effects of the trough and the uh, northeast monsoon affecting a uh, big region and the eastern sections of uh, uh, 
the zone actually the whole of the zone are being affected by this monsoon system by this afternoon the winds will start to die down over the vehicle region there will be some shifting of the winds from the east while northeast monsoon will uh, prevail over the eastern sections of Cagayan Valley so it's starting to retreat to the north and on Friday Friday afternoon another uh, surge is happening over the uh, West Philippine and South China Seas and uh, uh, a narrow band of uh, northeasterly monsoonal flow is being observed here on uh, Friday affecting uh, Pulilio Island and the coastal waters of uh, eastern Luzon and on Saturday December 31st on New Year's Eve uh, light winds from the northeast and east will be expected across Visayas and the Bicol region becoming a monsoonal flow across the uh, extreme northern parts of Luzon including Batanes Babuyan and on uh, January 1, next year, or 2023, we expect uh, lighter winds from the northeast across the whole of the archipelago with uh, inland areas um, experiencing some light to calm winds that will be on January 1. But the northeast monsoon will still affect the uh, coastal waters of uh, extreme northern Luzon, that includes uh, Ilocos Norte, and also over Batanes and Baboy and Cuba Islands. So, that's the latest from the wind forecast. Now, let's take a look at the rainfall accumulation for the next three days until December 31 to January 1. The bulk of rainfall is uh, forecast to be along the eastern sections of Luzon, uh, Bicol region, eastern Visayas as well. Uh, some portions of uh, Visayas, or the western and central Visayas, Panay, Iloilo, uh, Bacolod, Negros, Cebu, and also across Palawan, we could expect some uh, uh, rainfall for the next uh, three days. And if we take a look at the rainfall day-to-day uh, -day forecast by this afternoon, the uh, rainfall over the Bicol region will start to move more to the north and it's uh, no longer affecting Bicol and it, it will be over the uh, eastern coastal areas of uh, Cagayan Valley. Friday, Rizal, Rizal, on Friday, December 30, Rizal Day, we expect uh, some isolated thunderstorms to persist across Bicol region, eastern Visayas and Mindanao. While the northeast monsoon will start, will continue to weaken, okay. And on uh, New Year's Eve, Saturday, there will be some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms passing over uh, Bicol region and eastern Visayas because of the return of the easterlies. Uh, those are warm easterlies that could generate uh, rainfall because of the ongoing La Nina. And uh, on Sunday next year, uh, January first. 2023 light winds from the northeast will continue to prevail across the uh, almost all of the archipelago with uh, possible isolated rain showers and thunderstorms across central and northern Luzon okay because of this uh, uh, cloudiness generated by the northeast monsoon to the extreme northern parts and the easterlies over the eastern coastal areas of Luzon. Okay, so far that's the latest. Let's take a look at the latest Global Tropics Hazards Outlook from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA, valid for the next two to three weeks. Now for week two, valid January 4 to January 10, the Philippine Islands will be under the uh, uh, influence. The Philippine Islands will be uh, placed with a uh, Tropical cyclone formation probability of more than 20%. So this is not yet sure with high probability of rainfall of uh, above 50%. While by week 3, valid January 11 to January 17, the Philippine Islands will continue to have uh, neutral uh, uh, precipitation up to above average rainfall precipitation 
of more than 50%. So this is mainly due to the easterlies and the possible return of another Amihan. So those are different scenarios expected during the third week uh, by January 11 to January 17. Okay, so far that's the latest from the Global Topics Hazards Outlook from NOAA. And there you go, that's the uh, uh, latest update for today, December 29. And we will return uh, within the next couple of days to give you more updates here at Typhoon 2000. And at our YouTube channel, Mr. Typhoon.tv. And also at our Facebook page, Mr. Typhoon.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel or click on the notification bell for the latest of our weather situation across the Philippine Islands and the Western Pacific area. So this is Mike Padua. See you again uh, in the coming days. Uh, Happy New Year and thank you so much for watching our channel.